Let's learn how to create a brush and how to manage our brushes in Photoshop. So here I am out online at publicdomainpictures.net and I'm going to search for a pattern. Okay, so let's say I would like to make a brush out of this. I'm going to click on it and download it. Now in Photoshop, I'm going to open that file up. It's sitting in the YET, it's sitting here in the downloads. So I am going to select a color range and I'm going to choose black. And I'll select that. And I'm going to hit Command or Control J and jump that up on a new layer and then get rid of my background layer. So now I have what I want as a brush. I'm going to Command A, select all of it, and then I'm going to into the Edit menu and I'm going to define a brush preset. We'll just call it Asian Dragon. And there I go. So I can close this now. And I'm going to open up a, a file. Get my brush tool. And if I go down to the bottom, you'll notice that I now have a brush. That is a dragon. And the brush is resizable. However, if you get it really, really big, it may go pixelated just a little bit on you. Now all of your brush sets are here in the Edit menu, Preset Manager in the Presets part. And so here are your brushes. If you wanted to click on one uh, or more, you can save a set. Um, I think, what have I got here? Not sure why it wasn't wanting to let me delete it. But, uh, I can click on one or more of them and save the set off as a backup file of my brushes. Uh, so if I wanted to send this brush to somebody else, I could just click on it and hit Save Set uh, to my desktop. And we'll call it Dragon. Hit Save. And there's my Dragon brush right there. If I want to delete one, I can delete it right there. I can load brushes from other places by uh, clicking the load and then going somewhere and choosing a, a particular brush set. Uh, let's see. Styles, brushes, gradients. There's some brushes right there. In fact, there's a lot of brushes in there that I have saved. 21 decorative brushes, so now I've got all kinds of brushes in my in my brush uh, palette that have been loaded. And so that's a quick tutorial on how to work with